So the job for today is to make a spline shaft to fit this CV joint. Um, we're going to use this to straighten out the line of the prop shaft into the belt drive for the engine. Um, I found the cheapest CV joint I could, X Sierra. Um, and I've never machined um, a spline shaft before, so this is learning for me. And um, what we're doing is using the milling machine with a dividing head, or rotary table to be truthful, um, uh, to probably see, use this end mill to mill these slots into the end, uh, into the side of the shaft. And what that does is to eventually generate something that's about the right shape. So after a bunch of computation, a bunch of thinking, we figured out how it works. Um, what's significant now is that um, I'm going to just run through and show you how the cut goes. It's going to be pretty wobbly, I imagine. Um, but we're using, as we said, a rotary table. Um, and because it's a 25 tooth spline, that means we need to rotate the table 14.4 degrees for every um, slot. And of course you can't really do that by just winding the ordinary handle. So we have a set of dividing plates on here. Um, which are designed for the job and actually it turns out that we need to turn um, the handle something like oh, I think it's um, 3.6 turns to get each division so what we've done is to put on one of these dividing plates this one's got a variety of numbers of holes in it the outer one is 20 and so the 0.6 comes out as being 12 holes out of the 20 so what we need to do each time we make a cut is to pull this lever out, wind the handle three turns, and then move it around an additional 12 holes. And these bronze fingers allow us to see where the next 12 holes is. So to start off, you put the finger against the detent to start the cut. Then we'll just start the machine up. I'm going to wind the feed in to um, put the cut through, and then wind it on to the next one to just show you how that's done. Uh, as you can tell, obviously, um, this is not the first cut on this shaft, we're quietly edging into the right size. So here we go, start the machine. We've got this lined up, we've got the rotary table locked, so we can just feed it in. Uh, and in fact, I've already done that cut, so we'll just feed it back out again. So it's time to put it forward, so we unlock the table, we pull the detent out, we take three complete turns, one, two, three, and then I need the additional 12 holes which is round to the back of this finger. So I'll just get that to sit in the hole. So now we've moved 3.6 turns around and we can feed this in um, and hopefully take the next cut. We're only taking about 10 thou off this time. We're just bringing the spline down to size. In fact, as you can see, I'm actually cutting it into a hollow bar. Um, just because it was a piece of scrap I had around, it's actually very close to going straight through. So that's the next cut. So we back out the way, move the fingers round so that the start finger is against the detent again. Pull it out, three turns, one, two, three, and then we need to get the 12 holes, which is round to the next finger, which is there. And then we're ready to take another cut. In fact, it looks like I've been all the way around because that's just grazing the teeth. So I think that job's done. We'll see if it's fit. Uh, and if it does, we'll record another video. Thanks a lot.